Hi, and welcome to Studio SN. My name is Sarah Newman, and today I'm going to show you a DIY washi tape technique. Washi tape is a decorative masking tape, and it's super fun to use. I use it a lot in my crafts, and there are a million different kinds of styles that you can choose from, but sometimes we just want to make our own designs. And sometimes we come across some um, pattern tissue paper that sparks an idea. So let me show you today how you can make your own washi tape. And I'm going to start with this tissue paper. And anybody who knows me knows that this is not me at all. But um, I bought some flowers from the florist and this was the tissue paper that was wrapped around them. So I had a great big huge sheet of this, um, I guess it's leopard print. And I thought this is so not me, but I've got to use it somehow. I can't let it go to waste and yeah, it's good for you to try something that's not your style every now and then. So that was what I did this week. So I'm going to turn it over and um, to make tape, you're going to need tape. So on the reverse side of the pattern tissue paper, I'm going to apply some tape and I have two different widths here. This is a half inch and this is a quarter inch and it's double sided, very sticky tape. So I'm just going to pull off a length of it tear it and put it down pretty close to one of the edges because I don't want to stick it smack in the middle. So pretty close to one of the edges and then I just need a pair of scissors and I will trim it down. This is as easy as it gets. So I'll trim down right up next to the edges on both sides and then I have my piece of washi tape. And I really need to make sure that this is on here really firmly and then comes the fun part of trying to peel off the liner. So once you get the liner off there, then you can go ahead and put this down onto your paper. Or you can make a bunch of these and leave the liner on and just keep it for now, for later. Now that's one way of doing washi tape. The other way is with plain white tissue paper. And this is just the regular kind that you would buy at the gift shop or dollar store even. And what you can do is bring in a spray. Now the spray that I'm using is from Clear Snap. This is Stephanie Bernard and this is Bubblegum Pink. It's a really nice pale pink. And this is a dye ink. So I'll just give it a spritz like that. And I need to let it dry. I can either pat it dry or let it dry on its own. I tend to let them air dry. You don't want to oversaturate because it is tissue, so it's pretty thin, and a quick blast of this will get a lot of color down. So I'm going to just mop this up and set this aside to dry and bring in my finished dried piece. Now the same technique would apply with the, um, with the tape. I just need to turn this over, peel off maybe the half inch wide. I like to vary my widths of tape and put it down and then trim around. So pattern tissue, plain tissue, what if you really want to personalize? Well, you can start with your white tissue again and then bring in a stamp. So the stamp that I'm using is from a set from Paper Artsy and this is um, the Eclectica ESN03. And I want this design right here, this lovely text, uh, script text. And border stamps tend to do better for this technique than, say, um, a square or something like that because you're going to be cutting in a narrow shape. So this is a um, this is actually an old letter that I found at a flea market in Amsterdam. So it's um, beautiful old-fashioned script, and I'm inking it up with um, Clear Snaps Color Box. This is Bark, really nice, really dark brown, and then I'll just stamp this down. Now again I need to let this dry so when I do that I end up with a very beautiful piece just like this. Nice detail line on there. Again I'll turn it over. Now for this one I want to have a little bit wider um, tape. I don't want to be limited to the the widest being half an inch that I've got so I'm going to take the half an inch and put it down. Again, I'm working on the reverse side of that tissue paper. Pull off another length and set this down. And I need to nest it up right next to the first. So just like this. 
And it helps to work with um, pieces of tape that are not so wide, uh, that or not so long that you're ending up with them getting stuck to each other. Okay, and then I'll just trim this down. And the line will not show, surprisingly. The line will not show. And maybe I'll just trim it like that. And then my washi tape is double the width. And I want, because I've done it this way, um, and because I want to do a couple of other things with this strip, I'm going to, um, when I take the liner off, I'm going to attach it to a piece of plain white or off-white cardstock and just put it up right next to the edge and then trim around that because I want to be able to play around with the placement of it a little bit. And then once I've got all of those pieces, I can start placing them down onto a piece of white cardstock. Now, you can see my uh, layout on here, and I've put down first the strip of um, pink that I sprayed, and then a narrow strip of that leopard, another one of the pink. Now, this is that wider piece with the text on it, and I cut it in, into two pieces. Put one down here, put another one of the leopard, and then tore the bottom edge of that stamped piece, and then put the second part here so that I'm able to get lines that are going both vertically and horizontally, and that's what I wanted. Now, I could leave this as is, put it on the front of my card. It looks really pretty. But then I thought, what would happen if I came back with my bubble gum and just gave it a spritz? And I think it makes a world of difference. It was one of those risks that I took that, that worked out. I love it. So here's my finished card. Let me bring this back in again and tell you a little bit more about it. After I sprayed that, let it dry. Then I wrapped around a couple of times with gold embroidery thread. I tied a big puffy bow with that embroidery thread, glued that on there with diamond glaze. And then I matted this whole piece onto teal vellum. So this border area here, this is all vellum. I glued the vellum down onto the card front and then put this piece down on top. So this is how easy it is to make your own decorative tissue tape. I hope you enjoyed today's segment. For more inspiration, please stop by my blog at sarahnewman.com. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.